Today we will be adding TypeScript to our Node.js slash Express app. So I'm gonna create a folder. I'm gonna name it Express.js. Then open it with VS Code. I'm gonna open my terminal. Then type pnpm in it and hit enter. Right, it has generated our package.json file. Now I'm gonna install Express. I'm gonna create our index.ts file. Now we could import our packages with common JS syntax like this, but I like the ES modules import syntax better. Initialize our Express instance, port 3004 our development server. Then we're gonna say hello world in the client side, and we're gonna start the server and listen to this port 3000 for incoming requests. Now we could try running this TypeScript file, but it won't work because Node.js can't run TypeScript. Now we are going to install TypeScript and also the types for Node and Express. Don't forget to add the hyphen D to install the MSA dev dependency. Now we're gonna run pnpm tsc in it. It's gonna generate a TypeScript config file. And I'm going to leave everything default for the compiler options for now. Because now if we run pnpm tsc dash dash build and this is going to transpile our TypeScript into JavaScript. And now we should be able to run this JavaScript file. And if we do node server.js, we can see now our application is working on port 3000. And I'm going to stop the server from running. And I'm going to delete this server.js file. I'm going to hit control F and look for root there. Then we're going to look for out there. This is the place where our transpiled TypeScript into JavaScript files will be stored. Then set module and module resolution to node next because we won't be using common JS's require syntax here. I'm gonna keep target to default. You could set that to ES6 or ES2023 and that will transpile your TypeScript into the JavaScript version you want. Now we're going to have to run node dist slash server.js. Now I'm going to change our file name from server.ts into index.ts now if we transpile our typescript let's run pnpm tsc dash dash build right now we can see it has transpiled our code but it's still keeping the old file and you don't want that in production so we're going to install our package called rimref to rebuild our test directory type pnpmi rimref concurrently node mon dash d to install the MSI dev dependency. Now, if we go over to our package.json, we have installed all of the MSI dev dependencies. We're gonna create a start script and we're gonna run this slash index.js. For the build script, we're gonna delete the test directory and then run the TypeScript compiler. For the dev script, we're using concurrently TSC with watch flag and then nordman this slash index.js so we're basically watching for any changes in the typescript then compiling it then running the javascript file with nordman now we're not using double and signs between the two commands is that because we want them to run in parallel now the dev command is working all right it's working now we are going to run the build command I'm gonna try the build command and it should get rid of the extra javascript file right now we just have the index.js file right guys that's it for today and i'll see you in the next video